Hey everybody, I want to show you how this new two-tone mode works. Uh, so with a regular cut and fold, the program divides the image into light and dark areas. And it does that by comparing each part of the image to the value of this threshold slider. So when I slide it to the left, there's more dark in the image. When I slide it to the right, there's more light in the image. Um, so if you look at the cheese, there's a, p a point where it changes from light to dark. Um, the two-tone mode adds a second threshold slider, and the pages will alternate between the two thresholds. So what that does is it creates uh, a third level in between light and dark, and it looks like a shadow fold. So you can see when I put one of these all the way up to 100, uh, I get a regular shadow fold. And then as I bring it back down, I start to get more black and less gray. Um, if I put the two sliders on the same number, um, I'm going to get what I would get from a regular cut and fold. But the further apart they are, the more gray you'll see in the image. Um, and if I zoom in on the gray, you'll see that it alternates from light to dark or from cut and folded to not folded, uh, just like a shadow fold does. Okay, so now let's see how this works on a photo. Um, so I'm going to look for a photograph to use. And I like this one. It has good contrast and a nice clean background that isn't going to add a lot of noise. So I'm going to paste that in here. Again, if I adjust the slider, I can see a couple of levels uh, where I get some nice details out of it. If I start there and then switch it to a two-tone, um, if I bring it all the way up to a hundred and then bring it back down, back down, you'll see I start to get some nice black areas. Um, and as it comes down a little further, I get some nice shading. So. That there looks really nice. Um, and then of course, I'll want to play with my other settings, set my number of pages and, and my precision. Um, but you can see what a big difference this is gonna make for photographs and also how easy it is um, both to create and to fold your patterns after. It works just like a regular cut and fold. Um, so that's it. Um, can't wait to see what you guys make with it.